The Air Force and other services are in the hunt for heavy lift drones that can resupply troops in forward and GPS denied locations when they need vital items quickly. How do you get everything from radios to bullets to wounded troops to and from battlefield locations without putting pilots and air crews at risk? One company working on a solution is Amentum. We stopped by their booth at the recent Air, Space, and Cyber Conference to get a look at one of their options, called the Mule. It looks like a stealth fighter and comes with some interesting spoofing technology meant to confuse enemy detection. Have a look. Today, we're here with the uh, Wave Aerospace uh, Mule platform, which is designed for our contested logistics solution. Uh, I think being able to get in and out of any uh, location while bringing whatever payload we need to bring there. Um, this one in particular, 200 pound uh, carrying capacity. We have a larger one that gives us 400 pound carrying capacity. We can medevac people out. We can bring ammo in. We can bring fuel in. We can bring just plain logistics in a cargo box. It's all magnetically driven. The system has a magnet on both ends of it, um, all electronically driven. We simply turn a switch, turns the magnet on and off, similar to like a railway system. Um, and therefore each, uh, and therefore we can pick anything up. So 1500 pounds of magnet, and those magnets range from four to eight, depending on the size of the payload. This one in particular, we're not putting a pure distance on it. We're simply saying 200, uh, 200 pounds for two hours. So, you know, kind of use your imagination there, but a bigger one, the bigger one is really designed to go 400 miles at, uh, at 400 pounds. So about a 500 pound total capacity. It's about a hundred pound uh, vehicle. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's huge, it's huge. The distance is huge. It's one, it, medical, right? Being able to bring in medical supplies in and out. Uh, there's also like the Navy, for instance, a ship to ship, ship to shore, transport of, of, of logistics. We can actually even use these as relay points. Uh, so if we wanted to, uh, go behind, uh, beyond visual line of sight, we can create that. The reason why we chose this platform was because of its ability to land in a contested environment, regardless of the weather, regardless of the output, and it doesn't need anything to land on. So I don't need a runway. I don't need, all I need is an open patch of land, and I can put that thing down with whatever it is. So being able to come in on the radar and drop that stuff off is huge. Think about it, if you bring in a, a very small, aircraft with a small signature and all of a sudden it's the size of a uh, C-130 and you're a mile away from the, let's just say the enemy for the sake of argument, that's gonna be, I mean, that's a big deal, right? Being able to get that close with something that large, um, it becomes a distraction, it becomes a, a point of focus where we're trying to do something else, you know, elsewhere per se. This is arguably one of the smartest vehicles out there uh, just because it, it, it checks off so many boxes. It uses fuel and electricity, so it's hybrid. So imagine coming in with all the noise. I can simply turn that off, come in with electricity, uh, super silent, pick up what I need and get out of there. Now on top of that, if I fly into a contested environment and I can't get out, I can turn that into a 20 kilowatt power source at the edge. So I can literally, it's like an electric, it's literally like a, a generator, plug it in and ready to go now. The material, we have a magnetic coating on that. So if you get a directed energy shot, you know, we're gonna be able to bounce that back with no issues, super lightweight product. Uh, the whole thing is built out of this material, super strong. You're, I'm not breaking it, you're not breaking it. Uh, so pretty cool cutting edge technology and capability. It's fully autonomous, right? So think about a GPS denied environment. I can actually program this to go right through the GPS denied environment based off of some waypoints and some other secret sauce, deliver its payload, turn around and come right back. The, the little sister of this is fully operational, fully flying, all that good stuff. This one in particular, end of this year, we're out and about, we're moving. Next calendar year, we're moving into, into full scale.